The departments of tourism and science and innovation are launching the country's astro-tourism strategy in the Northern Cape today. That's ahead of World Tourism Day tomorrow. Let's cross over to Lisa Wilson. She's there. She's in Carnarvon for more. A freezing Carnarvon, I know. It, is, it gets really, really cold there. They, it's extremes, either hot or high, either cold. But uh, Lisa, this morning you've got the cold weather there. Good morning to you. And good morning. Oh, aptly put, we are live from the outskirts of Wontivo. In fact, it's a township in Carnarvon, in a little village in the Karoo. Um, it's part of the Karooburg um, Municipality, so it forms part of the Pixie and Semi District Municipality in the Cape Province. It is a crisp start to this morning. And uh, I've had a natural hair dryer this morning because it's so windy here. Temperatures are hovering around 2 to 3 degrees Celsius. But the town is slowly, slowly waking up. You can see some movement and activity, people coming out. Um, we're also surrounded by the majestic Korea mountains, the hills and the open skies. I mean, this is all going to be forming part of, you know, South Africa's astro-tourism strategy that is um, set to bring Carnivan and some of the surrounding areas alive through um, the various science initiatives as well. I must say, some of the locals are, are definitely handling the cold a little bit better than others. I've got Chris standing to my right. Um, he's been with us uh, throughout the morning, keeping us company and showing us, uh, or at least helping me um, stay a little bit warmer. Obviously, looking at what is set to um, come through the strategy, this astrotourism strategy, though, um, it's going to serve as a gateway to the galaxy through the Northern Cape province. Um, lots of empowerment initiatives economically and socially as well to, to assist them, some of the local residents here who are also curious about how it's going to benefit them at large. But speaking of development, I'm going to now be joined by Una Mandla and Vilagazi. Um, Miss Teen University South Africa. This is one um, initiative that's going to be assisting some of the locals here. I'm just going to bring her into the conversation at this point. Um, she's got a little less clothing on than me, but she seems to be brightening up the day with her smile and obviously the initiatives that she's um, putting forth through her foundation. Good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us at the sound. I'm losing my mind. It's so cold, but thank you, you so you're much. standing here. You're 16 years old. You're trying to, you know, foster social cohesion um, and, and really look at empowering your community at large. Talk to us about the establishment of your foundation the onset of it, the impact that you also hope to have through this initiative. So I started my foundation in the Wanda Foundation as a semi-finalist for Miss T in Universe South Africa. And you know, during that time I found a very strong um, feel for education and that's when my advocate, um, advocacy for education started. Mm -hmm. And that's why I started the foundation in the first place that I could help um, my peers, you know, by donating, by donating school shoes or essentials that they need. And I'm really grateful to have this foundation. My mom has helped me a lot, you know, she's um, supporting me all the time. And yeah, the foundation is a great way for me to connect with my peers and engage with them and, you know, um, relate to them. No, absolutely. The inertia that you would have had to overcome the challenges as well, just given the reality and the social ills that, we're, that we, we are seeing. Yeah. How do you tackle that? How do you also address that? Advice. Just uh, the social ills that we're seeing. I mean, you've got GB, a scourge of GBV. You've yes. got um, drug and alcohol problems as well. Inequalities. It is rather evident upon entering this um, yeah. town itself. I just wanted to know how you're going to be assisting, you know, through your foundation and also through your um, the, the pageant that's um, set to, 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 to take place here in November. Well, it's definitely important to have conversations about these issues and address them and therefore mm. take action because we may talk about them, but then what are we doing at the end of the day? So it's important to have conversations and um, to take action and to do something about it through initiatives um, and anything helps really anything small helps and um speaking on the um, pageant yes um that we're hosting as a foundation we'll be hosting it from the 31st of october to the 10th of november for the very first time in south africa so we're very very excited mm. and um since it's tourism month um, yes. most of the activities will be happening in the northern cape so this is a great way for the northern cape to 
to boost its tourism, especially in, in areas that are not very explored. So we're really, yeah. we're really looking forward to seeing the pageant here. It's going to grow our economy in many different ways. Absolutely. So, yeah. There's lots of synergies and, and opportunities as well. I, I actually wanted to get into... The, the format of the pageant yes. um, who's allowed to enter what is the criteria um, in terms of some of the skill sets as well the countries participating yes. talk to us about all of that that goes into it so we'll be having over 40 countries coming sure. to our country South Africa which we're very excited about and um, you said how to enter so in each country they have their own national um, pageant and that's where a title holder comes in. Okay. So then they win a title in their own country and then they all come together to compete in a different country internationally for the International Miss Teen Universe crown. So for example, okay. I compete for example, anyone who competed in Miss Teen Universe South Africa um, would have gotten the Miss Teen Universe South Africa twenty twenty four crown and it would have to compete here again in South Africa for the Miss Teen Universe title twenty twenty. Okay. Okay, so we're urging close to October is just around yes, the corner. Right I'm wishing you corner. all the best of luck. Thank you so um, thank much. Thank you for joining us um, at this hour here on the SABC. Unamandla Velagazi, founder of the Unamandla Foundation, joining us this morning, exposing me um, by not um, wig, you know, as the clothing. But anyway, a bright smile brightened up the day this morning. Um, we were just chatting about some of the empowerment initiatives that's going to be assisting Carnarvon and, and some of the other areas in the Northern Cape Province through um, the Miss Teen Universe pageant that's to take place um, at the end of October. Again, we are live from Bontieville. This is a township in Carnarvon. We're bringing you um, a lot. Um, we're bringing you um, more information, obviously, um, about the Astro um, Tourism Strategy and uh, some of the other initiatives associated um, with the science field and uh, innovation at large. Leanne, I'm going to hand it back to you. Um, I think we're ready for some wrist to cook and poiki at this point. <laughs> Sounds like you're in for a good treat and a good day. I hope you go out there and get to get warm. Stay warm. All right. Thanks. Lisa Wilson and the team out in Carnarvon this morning.